the Mass is the only perfect form of prayer. The only perfect form of prayer is the Mass. Now, why is that? Why is that? Because if we say, I don't need the Mass, God knows I believe in Him, I don't need to go to some brick and mortar building at noon on Sunday, I don't need to do that, I can pray on my own. I don't need to go to confession, I can confess directly to God on my own. What is missing? Now those are good things. Those are wonderful things. I'm not criticizing that in the least. God bless those people. That's a whole heck of a lot more than most of my family's doing, is, is going privately to God in prayer or confessing their sins to God in prayer. That's a beautiful start, but it's a start. It's not the perfection. Prayer is only perfected in the Mass. And the reason why is this. When we go to pray, and the Scripture tells us, go to your room, close the door, and pray, right? That's the seed. That's the beginning of what your prayer life should be, okay? Now, the difference is this. When we go and we pray, there's something in the way between God and us. There's something blocking God's grace. Now, um, Vinny Flynn in his book does a great job. He works for us too. Vinny Flynn in his book, Seven Secrets of Confession, talks about God's grace, love, and mercy are like the sun. Does the sun ever stop shining? No. But are we always in the sunlight? No. Sometimes we're inside. We close the door. On a sunny day, you're angry. You're not feeling well. You pull the shades down. You get back in your room. Your room is dark. Some of that light still gets through. If that sun is shining, some of that light will still get through. But your shades are blocking some of that light. The light never stops shining, but it can't all get through. It's the same with God's grace. God's grace is always there, but if we have sin, any kind of sin whatsoever, even venial, it, it blocks some of God's grace getting through, right? It blocks some of it. Now, what does the Mass do? The Mass completely lifts that shade. It completely eliminates that block. Because why? Because the Mass, who is the praying? Who's praying to who? I'll give you a hint. I had an abbot, a Benedictine abbot, that said, if you remember only one thing the rest of your life, remember what the Mass is. It's God offering God to God. Think about that for a minute. The Mass is God offering God to God. That's the only thing that can be perfect is something that comes from God. So the offer of prayer that is given to God the Father that He deserves comes from where? God the Son. Through the power of God the Holy Spirit. So we have God offering God to God. God is Jesus offering to God the Father through God the Holy Spirit. It's God offering God to God. Actually, you could say God the Holy Spirit offering God Jesus Christ to God the Father. Because it's the Holy Spirit, the power of the Holy Spirit that is giving that power of Christ to give His sacrifice to the Father. That's why it's a trinity. And only in that sense is it that, that perfected. Is we on our own can't generate a prayer that perfect. All we can do is unite our prayers to that sacrifice of the Mass, and then it becomes perfect. So, yes, the power of the Mass is the only perfect form of prayer. So you take your prayer, unite it to the power of the Mass, and it is perfected. 